Hello, my name is Randy Laist, and my presentation describes a project I did with some introductory writing students that involved the creation of small group narrated PowerPoint YouTube study guide videos as a way of enhancing alternate means of engagement and representation in the introductory writing classroom. In the fall semester of 2017, my English 101 students had the opportunity to participate in an academic conference commemorating the 40th anniversary of Roots. Uh, as part of this experience, they also participated in a uh, team teaching exercise with a, uh, another class, a section of African American Studies. And together we watched about a third of the Roots miniseries, which was about three and a half or so hours of uh, film that they watched over a period of days. Um, as a writing teacher, I was a little uncomfortable initially with the amount of time that the students would spend watching the movie, so I knew that they would have to do something meaningful with this experience. Since I'm an English teacher, my first thought was that they would naturally write papers about the movie. Um, but I didn't really want that for, for this particular experience, I didn't really want them to uh, write a traditional paper. Um, I didn't want them to be so individualized. I wanted to have them to have the opportunity to talk to one another. Uh, some of the students, especially since this would be the first assignment in an introductory writing class, I didn't want them to struggle with their writing anxiety. Um, I wanted the project itself to be not just a standalone assignment, but a stepping stone to the future writing that we would do in the class. Um, I wanted uh, the experience to be very process oriented. And of course, I wanted it to be more meaningful than just a paper that they would write and then get a grade and then move on to the next thing. Um, then I also thought, well, they could do uh, individualized or group presentations on their experiences watching the movie. But then I had some reservations about that strategy as well, because in a lot of undergraduate classes, these kinds of presentations tend to be unstructured. A lot of students also suffer from public speaking anxiety, which could inhibit their ability to uh, perform this task effectively. Um, the oral presentations that students give in PowerPoint style presentations allow few opportunities to address the details of grammar and syntax that are essential to a writing curriculum. Um, the uh, presentations tend to be ephemeral. They come and go and they don't leave much of an impact. And when you're giving a presentation, a live presentation, there, is few, there are few opportunities for revision. In thinking through my options, I was particularly inspired by the UDL principles and guidelines regarding expression and communication and effort and persistence. I wanted to try to develop a strategy that would reflect all of those priorities. Guided by these principles and guidelines, we arrived at the following process for putting together these assignments. Before the students began watching the movie, they were assigned a specific theme to pay attention to. As they watched the movie, they would take detailed notes on their theme. After each viewing, they would convene with other members who were assigned the same theme to compare notes, and then they would go home and write reflection essays on the notes that they'd taken and the discussions they'd had. Then they get, after all the movie, all the, all the sessions of viewings had been completed, we get to step five, where the um, team gets together plots out an outline that identifies all the major points that they wanted to make as a result of their notes and discussions and uh, individual writings. And then, uh, so develop an entire uh, outline for a presentation on how their theme is reflected in Roots. And then they um, each assign themselves individualized pieces of that overall outline. They would develop that outline into a PowerPoint deck, again, where each student would deliver their particular assigned chunk of the overall presentation. After the uh, presentations were delivered, we get to step seven, where the students actually can give each other feedback on how the presentations came together, how the slides were ordered, how the points were made, specific counter arguments or extra examples of things that they had said. Um, in step eight, uh, the individualized team members actually script out word for word the uh, script of their presentation. So although they gave it orally, then uh, once they understand the notes and once they've done some revision of the oral presentations, then they're situated to be able to actually write it out uh, in sentences and paragraphs. Then together we would edit that all the individualized sections into a single document that represented a full essay about the specific theme in Roots. And then together those teams would team write the introduction and conclusion to that essay. 
Uh, finally, we would proofread and revise the completed manuscript, and the students would actually record the narration directly uh, into the computer, upload the videos to YouTube, and sit back and go viral. Putting these videos together took some time. Uh, we devoted ultimately half of the semester to uh, going through these many steps of this process, but ultimately it was worth it because we were able to hit up each of these guidelines in uh, those two UDL categories. And as a result, the students had an incredibly engaging and meaningful experience. The videos themselves are available on YouTube. If you're watching this on a computer, you can click on these thumbnails and you can actually watch a few of the videos that these students produced. Um, and it was a wonderful experience because although it was a huge challenge, the theme essays that the student teams ultimately wrote came out to 15, almost 20 pages in some cases, uh, but the students rose to the challenge. The students were able to receive graduated feedback throughout the development of their projects from the uh, uh, reflection essays that they wrote while they were watching the movie, to the outline that they developed, to the PowerPoint presentation that they gave, to the script of the PowerPoint presentation, even to uh, the actual uh, recording of the slideshow itself. Um, the projects, so I thought, I think in retrospect, the projects actually brought together the best aspects of individual and collaborative work because it was really both shuttling back and forth between those two emphasis. The uh, dual emphasis on the written script and the recorded narration required the students to listen to the sound of their sentences and to strive to make them sound more professional. So they're able actually to uh, play back and listen to their writing as it sounds. Um, we're going to incorporate these Roots videos into a study guide that uh, future generations of Roots scholars will be able to access and learn from. Uh, the students themselves are sharing their videos. They have a great pride in the work that they've done, and the students concluded that it was different in a good way, among many other uh, rave reviews of the entire process.